I decided to be an engineer when I was in high school. Uh, I had this teacher, he used to bring engineer problems to teach us physics and I adored his classes. And one day he was giving me feedback in one of my assignments and then he told me, Fernanda, you should be an engineer. I chose to study engineering based on the subjects I enjoyed most in school. And I liked physics, maths, applied maths, and, but I also liked art and drawing and I liked the idea of being able to combine these. And since as an engineer it's important to be able to present your ideas in a clear and legible manner. I'm fortunate enough to have grown up in a family where my dad is a civil engineer as well. So from a young age, I, uh, I recall going to construction sites with him. Even on the odd occasion, got to ride along in um, some heavy duty construction vehicles. I actually got into engineering kind of a little bit by accident. Um, I initially wanted to be a primary school teacher and that was my first choice in my CAO. However, I'd also included engineering because I have an aptitude for maths and it was recommended by a guidance counsellor. And um, I ended up studying engineering in university then as a result. I enjoy my role at Walter Memorial because it is a challenge. Uh, no project is ever the same. There is always a different material, um, always a a bigger span, a higher load, a different way to do the thing, a different type of soil. So that means I'm always learning something new. The most exciting thing about being engineering is the value for service. Being able to walk around and be able to pinpoint certain structures that you are but part of is quite exciting and I would say it's the most exciting feeling about being an engineer. I think one of the great uh, pleasures of an engineering career is actually being involved in a project and seeing it right the way through from the, the very early concept stage through design development, through tender, through construction and then the final uh, commissioning and handover. And so there's a, there's a fantastic sense of job satisfaction that I've had throughout my career across a whole variety of different projects. The most exciting thing about being an engineer is that I get to see the progress of the projects that I'm involved with. And then when I go to a site and I see that my work is shaping into an office block, into a block of houses, into a school, and I know that in the near future people are going to be living there or working there or studying in there. And that gives me a sense of fulfillment. There's an excellent team here at Waterman Moylan and that helps to create a fun and friendly working environment. I have uh, worked at Waterman Moylan for nearly three years now and I must admit since 2019 that I've joined there's really never been a day that I'm not excited to go to work and looking forward to the challenges in the day. You know, although it is a very fast-paced environment, the company really has a family feeling to it. Um, so for me, um, working with Waterman Moylan, because I'm a bit further on in my career, it's, it's working with um, the people who have loads of experience and learning from them, um, but also the flexibility um, within the company. Um, like I can go and connect my kids, I can, and I can work from home. Uh, one of the best things about working with Moylan, firstly, is um, they have approachable staff and this has led to building fixable and energetic relationships with my colleagues. I think the thing that struck me about Waterman Moylan when I, when I first uh, started working here was the collegiality of the, of the company and the team and, and that the other engineers were willing to to discuss and answer any, any questions I had, particularly where I might have been unfamiliar with aspects uh, of, of, of the project. 